All right, guys, welcome back. So we're finally at the end of the course, and this is the last video. And over the past few videos, we've taken a look at building this entire Webflow website from scratch, including the interactions, making it responsive, and making sure that it looks well on all the other breakpoints. Now, before we get into the hosting part and what you need to do to get your website up and running, I just wanna talk a little bit about myself. Uh, so as I mentioned before, I'm Chetan and I run a YouTube channel called as Design Pilot. Design Pilot is kind of like my alias. So I upload a lot of videos on YouTube. So I go from UI UX to graphic design to motion graphics and I teach a lot of cool stuff. I showcase new tools and programs for designers. I'm also available on Twitter. So if you guys ever want to reach out to me on Twitter, you can definitely do that. And I'm also there on Instagram. I upload a lot of text-based, knowledge-based information posts on Instagram. You can definitely check it out. I've got a lot of things. I also write a lot of articles on Medium. So if you guys are interested, you can definitely check it out. Uh, designing a doc theme for your Android app is one of my recent most articles and also how I got 10,000 followers on Instagram. So basically, if you guys ever want to reach out to me, have questions about Webflow, have questions in design in general, definitely reach out to me. All the links will be down below in the description. All right, so now let's get back into Webflow. So once your website is ready, you have two ways of hosting it. One is you can host it on Webflow itself, or the other would be to host it on another platform. Now, if you want to host it on another platform, you would basically need all the assets and all the code. So to do that, you can just come over here and click on export code, and it's gonna go ahead and export all the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and all the assets. And right now I can't export anything because I don't have a paid plan. I have the free plan, which is why you can't export any code. If you want to export, you need to have a paid plan, which is why I'm getting this option to upgrade plan. So that's number one. Now, if you want to host it on Webflow, there are two ways again inside. The first one is to host it with, with without a custom domain. So if I go to publish and I can choose downloads.page dot webflow.io this gets published on the webflow server which you can definitely start using um, it doesn't really matter but the thing is you can't attach your custom domain to it if you want a custom domain you would have to purchase a custom domain but in order to sync your webflow website to your custom domain you would have to have a paid webflow plan you can check out all those in the pricing section uh, I'll, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Now, what is that you need to do? So if you go to the project settings, you can see that we've got a bunch of tabs, right? So you've got a uh, name, domain, folder, fav icon. Fav icon is basically the icon that comes over here beside your uh, website and the time zone, so many things. And when it comes to hosting, uh, these are the various plans that you have, you can choose. If you have any questions, you can definitely reach out to the Webflow team over here. Um, and also make sure that when you're publishing, you can turn on minify HTML, minify CSS, and minify JavaScript. This basically makes your website load faster and helps in SEO ranking and search engine optimization on search engines such as Bing, Yahoo, or Google. So definitely check all those out. Um, so basically, if you wanna learn everything, what you can do is you can actually come to university.webflow.com. This is your go-to place to learn anything about Webflow. They've got a bunch of things. I mean, they, they, they basically have everything right from getting started to elements to design CMS. You've got so many things. So what I recommend is you check out the project settings and the hosting settings. So for example, if you go to the hosting section, you can see you've got all the plans, you've got the custom domains, and if you go to the um, the project settings, you can see what, what, what each setting has. It has all the information that you need, such as SEO, such as forms, custom codes, white label branding, code export, password protection. So it's pretty impossible to teach everything in this video. It doesn't quite make sense because each website has its own functionality and has its own, own requirements. Your company or your business or brand might have a certain requirement. So it's not, e it's not easy to explain all of that. So basically go ahead, check out all these and you know, it'll definitely help you figure out how to publish it. Now, another thing is if you guys wanna learn more about Webflow, you can definitely check out Webflow on YouTube. They have a bunch of videos, they have a lot of playlists. And even if you come over here, you can see that they have a couple of play playlists on building a custom portfolio, building a business website and intro to web design and ultimate web design course. So all these are free courses that are available on YouTube. And every Tuesday and every Thursday, I think, uh, Webflow conducts a live stream and where they showcase new websites, they showcase new designers who are creating amazing websites. And e they even teach you how to create some cool interactions and stuff on Webflow. So definitely do check it out. They've got a bunch of content. Make sure to subscribe. It's really useful, really helpful. And sometimes they also conduct talks with the CEO of Webflow. That is Vlad, as you can see over here. And 
They've got a lot of tools and every time they make some update to Webflow, they put out all the information in the form of a blog and in the form of a video so that's easy to understand. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching all the videos and make sure you guys get a subscription or the free trial at least to Design Plus Code and check out their courses and learn something every month. They have new courses coming out every single month so there's something new for you to learn every day. If you have any questions or requests regarding the course, definitely let me know in the comment sections down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing, awesome content like this. And I will definitely see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.